Hello, we're going to do another face off today. I've got this Mr. Carl Victor Headley Strand, and this is an MK30. And as you can see, the box is well, basically a minter. The box is, especially for the age of the thing. And then we've got this, well, I'll try and pronounce it uh, Giesen and Forstroff. Mm, not too sure about that, but it's a Timor blue steel. So I've had quite a few of these over the years, and they've all been great shavers. And the actual make is, well, I think it's held in quite high regard, like generally anyway. Um, that's a six eight fat one is. So we kind of got like a little and large going on. Six eights isn't really that big, but you're heading towards the big ones. So I get this little little CV out. <coughs> See, I don't get many MK30s, um, just because I just don't think they was probably as common. It was all about the MK31s, really. But this one's near mint. You know, I think I was the per first person to really hone it. Uh, looking at the scratch marks on it, they they kind of looked like they was almost factory scratch marks to me, anyway. It's honed nice and well. Sits on the scales nice. Uh, let's give it a back view and you can tell from the box it come in that it's you know basically not been used much at all it's got all of the meat that's meant to be on it it's the correct size let's get these boxes out of the way to get them damp and then we've got this Timor blue steel so they kind of like blackened out the shank and the top of the spine on these there's a few little scratches just on the top of the spine. I'm not sure what they're done with it. Almost looks a bit like sandpaper, but the blade's barely got any marks on it either. So, and again, I think I might have been the first one to to possibly hone it. But then it's got this little bit that flips up here. Um, I'm not actually polished this at all, so that might actually come out. But then that could have been done in the factory. Do you know what I mean? One false move, and it does it on the factory. <coughs> But again, I, looking at the scratch marks, it don't look like it had been honed. The scratch marks were too deep, and and this one's got the little sort of indentation on the scales there as well. Indentation. It's the opposite of that. It's nice steel, whatever way you look at it. Sounds lovely on the Jane at that one because it's a really thin, thin hollow. Oh, one thing I ain't checked actually is it's got a. Yeah, it's. It's, it's got some thickness at the bottom, but it's definitely not what I'd call like a German kind of hollow. Even though it's made in Germany. <clears throat> and today we're going to be using the old blue cellar, which is the old aloe vera, and just the old Simpson, my new Simpson Chubby 2 Synthetic. Okay, well without further ado, oh, you've been all well enough. I ain't done no shave sort of test videos or face off really this week. It's been Easter over here in Old Blighty. So I've been sort of chilling a bit, hanging with the family and just shaving with my own razors. Own razors need to drop the soap then. Uh, yeah, my own razors. So I've, I've shaved again with the Gully Miro Hope, which is like the 14 pattern. It's got the lovely sweeping, almost like a Japanese-esque um, heel, uh, it's just a lovely shave, man. That is, you know, I talk about a fine edge, just, just tremendous. I can't remember what Jane Edge I put on that. I can't remember if it was my old one or my new one, so I might put my new one on it just because I can. You know, tinker with your own ones, didn't you? I always do. You know, if somebody said to me today, What do you do when your razor starts tugging? Well, generally, I just put it straight on the stones, but I actually did. Um, I made some little nice paddle strops out of some oak I had in the back garden the other day. So I've got like a one micron now that's, um, cause the only pasty strops I add up to now is like a nice thin one with a, uh, with an actual handle on it, which is lovely. Uh, and I like using the thin ones after I come off the stones cause as you do your X strokes, you kind of almost guaranteed to hit all of the, all of the edge without too much bother. So I've done these ones a bit wider, nice thick leather and everything, they're nice. Feels nice as well. I, I sort of buffed them 
So they've almost got like a bit of a velvety feel to them because I've got some like vintage velvet struts from like 100 years ago or whatever. And some of them are velvet hide and I really like that feel. Like a little bit of drag in that, I like it. So that's what I try to kind of do. <clears throat> These razors have literally just come off the stones today and they've had full shafts and progression all the way up to 12,000. Uh, they've had Mikau Ansano, Majoro, um, Nagora progression and then they've had a little, a, a kind of a short Tomo one we call it because I didn't really stick on there too long and then just plain, plain old water, I like washed everything off, make sure everything's clean. And uh, just did, yeah, the last strokes with just water, basically. They sounded really nice on the last one. I sort of reconditioned the top of my Jane app the other day. Because uh, I kind of realised it had a little tiny, tiny dish in it, actually. That's what I realised. So I flattened it again with the DMT plate, die flat. And reconditioned it with my other diamond plates and they always feel nice after you've sort of reconditioned the top of them alright interesting to see how these both perform against one another actually because sometimes these like super fine hollows they feel a bit plucky sometimes even though like they've passed all the you know, the HHT tests and all that. But no, that's not the case for that. Got three days growth. I still wouldn't recommend these little MKs, like the MK30 and the MK29. I had one of them a long time ago. And they are little hollow grinds. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend them if you've got like a really thick, gruff old beard on you. You know, and you're somebody that when they grow a beard, it's real thick. Because frankly, you need the wedge types, or at least half hollows. Like you can get away with some ultra fine hollows, full hollows and whatnot. And if you're going to get away with one, it'd be a Swedish, especially MK31s. They plough through anything, but you will dull the edge a bit quick, I find. Um, you know the half hollows and upwards are the ones designed for heavy beards and you can find all that literature on you know old barbering treaties and stuff from kind of like over 100, sorry, over 100 years ago cool really loud that one I thought it might be the way it acted on especially on my Jane that it was quite um, you know like that uh, like that wisp noise It's a nice shave, nice and smooth. So I've been putting a lot of study in this week into camasores. 
So I practically like nearly everything Japanese. So I bought myself a job lot of Kamasuris. Okay condition, they were quite badly scratched up by the person I bought them for, from, and I didn't realise this. Because like I could see the folk, like I could see him, and I could see they were like okay in terms of mostly anyway homeware. But when I got them, they were quite badly scratched up. So I've had to I've had to sand them basically, which I don't like doing to razors. But I've kind of had no choice. But they've turned out quite nice. I've gone through the progression of grits quite well. You know, and Kamasuris, especially like the the non kind of like posh ones, they were kind of. A bit sort of rough on the edges a little bit anyway so you know I kept on good I'll tell you what that kept that team all I think it's beat the MK hmm that has it's a rare day that is I could tell it was good steel on the stones it's definitely a bit tighter on first pass yeah so I've been reading about like how you hone them and just anything about them really so, I'm looking forward to, to shaving one, basically. I've got quite a few of them as well, so I'll be letting go. Well, good for you, because I only want to keep two or three of them, of this batch. Setting them off into the wild again. Yeah, and I've been putting study into the stamps a little bit, because that's complete, well, to me, just I ain't got a clue what I'm looking at, I ain't. Um, and I found out of the, I think I kind of like, well, restored to look at. I think I did six, and I found four of the names. It's a, like a Yamamasa, without it being in front of me, I can't even get near it, but it's something like that. And then the other one I found, oh, I'm not even going to try and say it, but I, I know I found it because I found one listed on eBay already. And then uh, kind of went backwards and looked at, um, there's a, a good website called Razors History. And that's a, a good resource on the old Japanese razors. Yeah, it's nice, performed well. I, I do prefer a kind of slightly bigger razors, you know. Like I love my MK31s and everything, but, but even they can be a little bit too small sometimes. But when I say too small, they're not too small to work. Just uh, as you progress down your sort of shaving journey, you start to know what ones you really truly like. And they're just a little bit too small for me, they are. I've got like a, see the, uh, Mr. Carl Victor as well, they did another razor called an MK2 or a number two as it be and they are really, they are really fine hollow similar to that and uh, I'm sure if you go through my videos I'm sure I'll show you one frankly but, but again 
they are right at the bottom of what you can achieve with a with a hollow ground really. on the team what and I have a slight announcement to make I'm gonna be doing my first giveaway it'd be a raise up I'm sort of not sure what one yet so I'll do I'll do a video for it probably in the next week and, it, and basically it's just to celebrate I've got a hundred subscribers now on YouTube which in a way is kind of amazing. me. And it'll probably be a Swedish razor. I'll have a think about it. <clears throat> But as a thank you for subscribing and putting up with me for this long. You know, remember the reason I started this channel really was to, to have the possibility of getting a few blokes shaving. And I've done that. I've probably got, I don't know, maybe, maybe even 20 people shaving now for the first time with a straight. And most of them have come back and maybe bought another razor and stuff like that. So you can tell they're kind of... Uh, they're at least in for, well, more practice, let's say, and possibly the long haul, which is what it's all about. I think this Timor is probably going to be okay. It's quite a rare day when I say St. Boots, the Swedish razor, Latin and an MK. Yeah, it has. Yeah. It's a bit tighter. It's not much in it. I don't know if you can hear it. But that's the MK. That's the Timo. It's just less. I can't notice it as much on my little problem spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's close, but the team was done it. Which is not what I normally say. <laughs> right, I love you and leave you. Clean everything down. Clean everything off. Get your old towel going on your razors. Clean everything off. Leave everything open. And then kind of... You can strop it straight away, but sometimes the, if there's any dampness, it might interfere with your strop pin a little bit. But I generally clean everything down, leave them five, ten minutes, come back, strop everything. And then uh, old Martin Test Shades, he showed me something the other day on one of his videos. He's got like the old pipe cleaner and he puts it through there. Well, no, I'm not as fancy as old Martin, I don't reckon. No, piece of old bog roll. Just get a corner, get the corner in, that's it. Oh, there we go, I just dropped it in the sink. Get another one. <laughs> yeah. Old Blue Peter, it always goes to plan. And then just give it the old up and down a few times. Because if you're going to get any rust when you think you've cleaned it nice, it's in there, and then when you shut it, it shows on that little part of the tank. That's generally why I like to leave them open, if you can, you know what I mean, in some households you can't, can you? You know, I've got a little child, so I have to be aware of that. <clears throat> That's it, man. Nice. Good steel on both razors. Good shave to be had. Right, till the next time. See you later. Have a good one.